Hello friends and happy Friday. Uh, thanks so much for letting me give you an update. Didn't do one last week between the snow and the ice and I was away and I had a, a flight cancellation. So we got out the cancellation stuff, but uh, nothing else. Uh, news out today uh, from Pew, who do a lot of research on religion, that now the largest uh, religious group in America are those who have no religion whatsoever. It's sometimes referred to as the nuns. Not N-U-N-S, but N-O-N-E-S, as in I have no religion. My religion is none. 28% of Americans have identified as that, the second largest religious group, Catholics. So 20% of Americans are Catholic. But as we know, only about 10 to 12% of those Catholics worship with us each week. So we've got lots of work to do. That's why we're doing the Next Generation Parish Initiative. Uh, my peer group, folks in their 50s, are not attending like folks in their 70s. And certainly folks in their 30s are not attending like my generation has been. And so we have much to do to introduce people to Jesus Christ and help them understand that a relationship with Jesus makes a difference. I know it's made a difference in my life. Um, I'm, I'm a better human because of Jesus. Uh, I'm a more compassionate person. I'm a more understanding person. The version of me without Jesus, no one would want to hang with. And um, he's still got a lot of work to do. But he wants to do that in us and through us, and, and, and please God bless others as well. So continue to invite, but most especially, may we continue to become the disciples that we're meant to be, which is why, again, all the Next Generation initiatives, as we grow in discipleship, as we become people who serve more, right? It was interesting, uh, the folks who are nuns, um, while they're committed to being kind, uh, they volunteer at a lot less uh, than those who are churchgoers and believers. Uh, they're involved in their community a lot less. Um, they vote a lot less than religious people. So, so don't think that religion doesn't make a difference. Don't believe that lie when maybe family members or others say it. Uh, our faith makes us the people that God needs us to be. The reality is the people that the community needs us to be. So let's continue to worship the Lord and, and know his love. Um, grateful for um, all those who helped clear everything with the snow. Um, if you have any feedback on what we could have done better or differently, uh, please do not hesitate uh, to let us know, um, as, as you always do. Uh, Coffee Talk was moved from last Saturday to this Saturday, um, so you still have a chance to come and, and, and be with others who are grieving. Quizzo Night um, had been sold out, but, but we did move it, and so there are some, some tickets available because some people couldn't make it this week. And so we certainly look forward um, you know, to, to, to that being there. Big news this weekend, of course, is Catholic Schools Week, the open house in our school, uh, 11 o'clock mass, and then an open house afterwards, just a chance to walk through. Maybe you haven't been in the school in a while. They've done some really neat renovations up in the library, a chance to see the security areas that are being created. Um, <clears throat> and I'm so grateful for all those who have uh, donated to make uh, that possible. Uh, cameras will be coming in the next couple of weeks, a new phone system, and then the doors probably during Holy Week. So really, really grateful uh, uh, for that. So. Lots of stuff in this email uh, blast, the weekly update, lots and lots of things happening here at St. Cecilia's and around the diocese, including the arm of St. Jude. So you can go check that out this week. Thanks so much, friends. Um, know that Father Fong and I pray for you each evening when we gather for, for evening prayer uh, and for all of your needs. I know many of you are suffering in many ways um, with, with many different circumstances. Do not give up. God hears you. God is with you. And with God, all things will be well. Peace. See you in church.